we know that you were born magical. We know that you are intuitive and we know that you are brimming with everyday enchantment. Here at the Sisters Enchanted, we believe in intention, we believe in intuition, and we believe in everyday magic. Welcome in to the Expedition to Soul podcast. Hey, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast. This is your weekly astrology podcast episode. You know by now, I think, that I'm Anna. Hello. I'm the co-founder here at the Sisters Enchanted, and next to me is Sarah Milne, our Hello. program director and um, co-teacher in our Expedition Astrology program and other programs here at the Sisters Enchanted. Good morning, Sarah. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Anna. How are you doing this morning? Oh, good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> good. That's good. <laughs> so, Sarah, what's happening with us this, this week? What do we need this to is, know? This is a nice... I'm really looking forward to this. We have Jupiter which is that planet that big gas planet ex of expansion and growth and remember we talk about jupiter as being a lucky planet and the planet of abundance but what people kind of misunderstand is that jupiter doesn't just land a lot of ab abundance on our lap it doesn't rain money from the sky what it does is it helps us to see our opportunities because jupiter is all about um this kind of expansion how we can expand ourselves and it helps us to see the opportunities for those expansion and therefore opportunities for us to to connect with things that are bigger than ourselves and expand and grow and and get abundance through opportunities and this week jupiter's conjunct with neptune which is also a planet of connection and planet of spiritual connection and a planet of that kind of connecting with everything and loss of self and that kind of stuff and i'm um, that sort of real kind of cool festival and like i always think about the festival where we're all at a festival together and we're all having such a great time and we're all one we're all experiencing the festival as one and it doesn't matter who people are you know you kind of like your friends want to see one band you want to see another or a bit of you want to see some art over there so you just go so i'll see you later and you just connect with the people that want to have the same experience that you want to have and you have that experience together and that's kind of really is neptune type energy super psychic super like just feeling not even thinking just feel just going just feeling what the what everyone else is doing so i think this is really cool that like having this this it's all about connection yeah. And it's all about this kind of expansion and growth and losing the sense of yourself. And it's all coming together this week. So it's, I just think it's this wonderful connection of growth and imagination. Because like Neptune is all about imagination as well. So. Excellent. That sounds really excellent. Um, <clears throat> a side note, too. We talked about um, Jupiter in our Enchanted Journey mm. for the, the previous month. We did. And, yes. And we talk about that expansiveness mm -hmm. that comes with Jupiter. Uh, but we also touched a little bit on how on the flip side, too, that sometimes depending on, you know, astrologically and whatnot, your Jupiter placement, if it's in like a really kind of like easy spot or has like an easy like attachment to it, that sometimes we can be so abundant in an area of our life that we don't even realize that we're mm -hmm. abundant in that area of our life and then sometimes we can instead of being like grateful for all the things that happen to us there we can get really shadowy and start and start like not showing gratitude for yeah. that thing. Yeah. And, yeah. and taking more than our means mm -hmm. uh, which which i i tagged in stories of zeus which is the greek equivalent of jupiter uh and about how zeus can do kind of whatever he wants because he's Zeus, but he because he's like super abundant and like, but he doesn't do things always in the best interest of other people. But he does things just because he can. And I think that that um, is just interesting about Jupiter too. That yes, it's abundant and everything. Uh, but to be like you said, it doesn't just give you things. You have to be like aware that they're happening, and then also stop and be like, that was great that I just mm -hmm. received this. You Absolutely. know, and show gratitude for the moment and not be like, yes, I'm so abundant and keep giving me that abundance, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abundance. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Portion, control. Yeah. portion controlled abundance. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because you can you can have too much of a good thing, you know, mm -hmm. and like this is all happening this this week in Pisces. So if uh, barriers, you know, that's you can, yeah. it's going to expand all that Pisces Neptune energy. So barriers are going to be and boundaries are going to be super, super important this week. Yeah. So three tips for this week, then, as well as barriers, that's an extra one. Boundary is big, 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 
to keep your mind on your boundaries. But spend some time creating a new vision for your future, like journal, visualize, daydream. This is a good week for vision boards. Like, what do you love and like your life to look like? Because like Jupiter is, you know, use your imagination. What's in there? What's deep in your imagination? Let let Jupiter expand that. And so it's, it is a week for this is what I want. And now how could I make that even bigger? Um, it's also a great time to work on shared visions with other people because of course we've got this like abundance and opportunities together with Pisces and with um with Neptune so this is a really good week for a team vision session uh, so get down with your team and think like especially using your imaginations like if you've got any like hurdles to get over with a team that you work with or any kind of like you just need to think in a different way or use your imagination this is a really good time to just get down and um have a team vision session. So maybe we should do that. Sarah, we need a team vision session this week. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then put into action any ideas you have about spiritual collaborations or spiritual ventures, artistic ventures, artistic collaborations, or community projects. Those sorts of things could really be bring you big abundance this week. I like it. Could you imagine if our like team calendar started to have like inserts that said like due to <laughs> <laughs> due to this aspect yes. this week we should be doing this <laughs> I think we should. it would be we good we should do that we definitely should do that yeah yeah i mean we live it individually we should be doing it more yes. as a this week is all about collective i mean this is about you know this really is this week if, whatever you do if you do it with other people this is the week for a shared vision shared. session i like it so yeah. this this week, I've got the Sassara Baito Tarot, um, and I'm going to try really hard to make it so that anybody who's watching can see the pictures, but I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. my overhead lights and my morning light are... Oh, lovely. Did you say that was again, Anna? These are the Sass this is the Sassara Baito Tarot. Mm -hmm. I really love it. It's been one of my favorites for I love that. a really long time. So this is the King of Wands, mm -hmm. and I and it came up with the Two of Pentacles today, which is mm -hmm. also a super pretty yeah 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 version of the card okay. and mm -hmm. i really like that because um sarah was saying that like this week is great for expansion and focusing mm -hmm. on new kind of creative projects or like imaginations and, and working towards a goal with other people i know the three mm -hmm. of pentacles is more working with other people but i really like this this kind of like the in, the infinity that wraps around the two of pentacles and kind of like the hands putting them up to join together like they're going to work together energetically to keep themselves afloat on these two pentacles that's like what it makes me feel like that they're being like sent off mm -hmm. and that their energy together is going to keep moving um that the king of wands will keep ideas and projects and things focused um which is really great especially with this energy that is um you know, that Piscean energy with Jupiter, because things can get like a little bit out of focus mm -hmm. sometimes when there's that kind of like watery energy happening, that the King of Wands is like, no, we have things to do. Jupiter is here. We are meant to be like expansive. We are meant mm -hmm. to be in the moment. And the King of Wands is passionate, is creative, does have an imagination, wants to, you know, be like the, an artist of his own, but he's going to, you know, put his stick down and say like let's get to some focused work here and that these two of pentacles is bringing everything into balance and i feel like reminding yourself to have balance in a time like this where the expansivity can be so like so much that this two of pentacles reminds us to be like okay no all yeah. a good time mm -hmm. one foot in front of the other balance you know how you're feeling with the expansion balance how you're feeling with the watery yeah. energy with your imagination maybe running a little bit wild and like yes. sarah said find something to help put it into balance and maybe that is a team member um somebody who you like to do projects with and get that balance and start putting it up like just like in this pentacles put it up and let it find its its balance together where mm -hmm. there's mutual reception off the energies so that you can work towards a goal um focused. So I think that this week is really great for that kind of that like symbiotic energy that there is like the King of Wands behind it being like, we're going to keep it floating. I just like see the King of Wands like with his staff, like keeping the two pentacle, these two little orbs yeah. floating seamlessly to get like the work done, keeping the yeah. energy moving Definitely. in a way that they stay in orbit of each other. And so that mm -hmm. they don't like ricochet off and turn yeah. into 
some sort of unorganized chaos, which is what we yeah. don't want. We want to do the other thing. We want to harness. So we're keeping that orb of those mm -hmm. energies moving in a, in, in a symbiotic. Relationship. Yeah. That's how I feel. <laughs> I, love it. I, love it. I love that. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. tarot reading is so weird because like, especially for me, I kind of like get this kind of like mind body like separation moment. And I'm like, I'm crazy. <laughs> All of a sudden yeah. I have this moment. I'm like, what am I talking about? No, yeah, I love it. I love it. Usually it, it means something for somebody. <laughs> and I'm it like, does. so much. So, <laughs> much. It's so, so funny. So Sarah, do you want to wrap us up with about this week? Yes. Spend time creating that new vision for your future. Think big. Yeah. Or, you know, what do you want? What do you really want? tell you what I want what I really really want <laughs> um, what would you love your life to look and feel like and feel like and we go for feelings as well a great time to work on shared vision with others like if you work with others on anything collaborative particularly where it involves imagination and creativity which most things do I mean we don't just like you see I have my art around me like my portrait that I did of my dad over there and stuff it doesn't have art like creativity is not just art creativity is everything um so team vision sessions particularly around about imagination and creativity and put into action any ideas you have because it's still we have to still have the last week of the sun in aries so this is still like don't just think it and dream it put those things into action get those collaborations going get that community project started get that spiritual and artistic imaginative ventures going they could really bring you these are these are this is kind of like the end of that that aries sowing seeds season and these kind of seeds this week could lead to really great abundance later in the year as the wheel turns but be mindful of those boundaries and balance as well i love it such a good week yes yeah what have we got on um we, we would like people to come join us this week in expedition to soul as well it's a great week for coming to join us in expedition to soul because it really fits in with these themes of imagining this wonderful life you could lead so yeah Anna, tell us more about that i know especially since you're here at the expedition to soul podcast and yeah. if you you know haven't done expedition to soul you want to be there it is one of our favorite weeks Yes. Throughout absolutely. the year when we do it, it's mm -hmm. five days of an adventure to soul. And if you're loving these astrology forecasts, know that there is one day dedicated just to your moon sign yes. and how we can navigate our shadow selves and mm -hmm. our emotional our emotional selves and make the best of that and how to conquer it um, mm -hmm. and show and shed a light on it. So join us for Exhibition of Soul. Yes. Uh, it's exhibitionofsoul.com. And we hope to see you there because yeah. we're excited and our quest packs are packed and we are ready to go. So absolutely. And there's so much good stuff that you will get immediately at expeditionsoul.com with like including how to make your own quest pack. And this week is a really good week for making that quest pack because that's a really imaginative, exciting project to do. So yes. if you need Perfect. some to pull this energy into, that's one thing you can do. Yes. Yes, your quest packs or your maps, which you get right yes. away as well, too. Yes. So, um, yeah. So, thanks, Sarah, so much for this this astro forecast. This is an exciting week. It is. Yay. Have fun. Thank you. Yes, thanks, everybody, for being here. And until next time. Bye. Bye.